hand captured about this guy. <laughs> hey, I don't know if some of you guys has watched the video when I clap. Boom, you know, right? <laughs> but guys, we're waking all you up, man. We're waking all you up, man. That's always rolling right there and then, guys. Welcome back to another Mr. Lick's reaction video right there, guys. On this here Mr. Lick's reaction, guys. Big up yourself one time. And of course, we have this here video right there. Of course, this video was sent to me by one of the individuals out there stating that, hey, this video is from Moon Sweeney. Moon, where is Moon? Moon Sewey? Moon Sway, say where I think that Moon say way. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, sir, Patwai, full day, man, boy. Anyways, guys, so apparently this video was posted on the 24th. Um, and of course, with special guest, um, I guess this is the special guest right there. But these two individuals, we're gonna see what they have to say, guys. I'll post the link of this this um thing in the description below. It wouldn't be the full thing, of course. This is two hours. We ain't got we ain't about the libraries and sisters. We're gonna see some of the things that they're saying right there on this year video. So let's get into it, guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. And definitely subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can get more videos as they tend to come through. I see that right there, guys. Big up the Dominican Massive that's standing bold and strong. Yes, sir. Let's go. Well, you can all right then. <laughs> Let's see what they're saying right there. Yes. Greetings, greetings. Morning night. Morning night like this portion we done already. Room we That was yesterday. And um, tonight we have two special guests with us. Oh, two special guests, okay. We're gonna have a little different, you know, different flow tonight. Okay, let's go in. Is unconscious, but not righteous, you know what I mean? So we just try to bring that uh, kind of a vibration, you know? Well, good night, and thank you very much for having us. We really appreciate the opportunity to spread the good, you want to call it the good news, <laughs> you want to call it that. Hmm, um, what is the good news? We're just here to, to give some positive vibrations, again, to try to elevate the minds of the people, to let them become a little bit more aware of who they are, aware and what they are capable of doing. Being aware is very much important, true that. Um, and the strength that they actually carry within themselves, they just haven't tapped into it as yet. That is the problem that we have. So we're looking forward to having a very balanced discussion. Um, stay tuned. Thank you for the opportunity. Word before sponsors. Okay, so, <laughs> Mr. Robinson, we were here before, you know, previously. We had, we had to have that, that um, discussion. And, you know, it didn't happen. But it has to happen. Let's get a bit more de in depth. Serious people. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So I, 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 I like what you're saying there. It really goes ahead of our whole movement. You know? Tag the man, tag the man. You're talking this history too. But, um, you know, what will drive drove you to be involved in that spirituality and consciousness vibration? Um, well, to be honest, I think every one of us have this, this deep feeling within us that the world isn't set the way it's supposed to be set. True. And feel that things are not the way it's supposed to be. Those people are paying attention, eh? We are supposed to have so many people dying of homes and when there are billionaires and children around the world. Yeah. Tupac said the same thing. Those things there, and you really start to wonder, like, okay, if there is somebody out there who has the opportunity to fix it, why isn't that person fixing it? I think on the basis that people are working hard for the money that they want and they realize that the money that they work hard for, they probably want to do it for something else. But if you have billions of dollars, I think you can probably try to help more people. Like, you don't think so, guys? Billions of dollars to actually try to help people. Um, I know the understanding that people look at, at Elon Musk and see where he has, what, quarter of a trillion dollars to his name. And what exactly is he doing? He's trying to go to space. He's trying to go to Mars and this kind of places there. But you're trying to go there and then there are hungry people dying all over the world and whatnot. Why don't you contribute in this aspect? So I guess it's still it's, it's still a point of, 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 of I guess, it's, 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 um, your own convictions. I guess your own convictions. Hey, you make your money. Yeah. People make their money. But hey, that's selfish people in the world at the same time. Yeah. You make your money. It's not to say you're just going to take your money and then you're just going to throw your money everywhere. You, you've seen what needs to be done and you organize. Pretty much the same thing. I think that's what Bill Gates is trying to do. Get farmlands. But then there's always the understanding of him getting farmlands for what exactly? He's trying to feed the poor. But then you put in things inside food for people. I mean, you, you, I mean it's, it's, a very, it's a very interesting and wicked world that we're living in. On the basis that you're trying to supply for the hungry. By taking on hundreds of thousands of acres. Hundreds of thousands of acres. You know, I say hundreds and thousands. No, it's hundreds of thousands of acres of land. Farmland. 
for you to build food and then make food for people. But you're making food for people and putting things inside there to affect the people. We all know Bill Gates' track record in, in, in Africa, what he, he does do. Anyways. And it, it started me on a journey of looking for information to really find out if the things that we believe are really true. True. Are they really set in stone? Did these things really happen? And that's really where it, it started from. You just you know, doing some research on certain things. That is what I like. Do your research. Don't just swallow what people tell you. Do your research. Um, about the history of the Bible, what created, who created the Bible, who are the people who wrote the books of the Bible. And... A lot of people tend to do research on that and they get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. They do research on that to get it wrong, saying the Bible come from white man. But if they go back in history and realize that the Bible didn't come from no white man, white, what, 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 what white man create? Huh? What white man create? <laughs> Yo. The history of the churches, how they started, how did they get, you know, brought? People like to say Christian Christianity came from Catholicism. That is that is false. That is false. In fact. Catholicism actually came from the sphere of Christianity and they branched out to the understanding of what hap was happening before Christ came. That's why you had to go and confess to the priest and this kind of things there. That is where that came from, before Christ. When Christ came, you didn't have to go and confess to no, no priest because Christ was the mediator between God and man. <laughs> Church, let it go. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's simple. It's simple. You just go back in history and Mormon to come and say they think the white man did bring the Bible to the West. True, There's, they did bring the Bible to the West, but the Bible was already in Africa, Ethiopia. If you look at the longest standing Christian church in the world, it is in Ethiopia. They even saying that is where the Ark, the, the Covenant, the Ark of the Covenant is. But anyways, after Solomon had it, and of course he, he's from his son um, Meli Meli. The son, I forget, many, many lekki, many lekai, some kind of thing. That's the boy name. I'm from his mother, Queen of Sheba, and of course they brought the 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 act to to Ethiopia. Anyways. A lot of the things that we were programmed into us, and I call it programming, yes. because you have to take it in at a certain level, a certain amount of time. That's why you go to church three, four mm -hmm. times in a week. It's a programming, just like on TV, you watch TV, you watch the show over mm -hmm. and over, you get programmed. Um, so we have been programmed to believe in certain things, and um, the sooner that we can understand that what we are programmed to believe in is not in the reality we will be set. But the question is, what is reality do? What is reality? That's a big question right there. You know, whose reality is reality if reality is programmed and you make it? Who, who, who is pretty much putting the thought process or making the reality in your mind that thinking, making you think that we are being programmed? It's on one basis. <laughs> hey, I, I, I probably get too deep in that. Some of all, you probably lose already. Yeah, all you lose. <laughs> it's one thing for you to say, okay, people doing things, they're putting things on television for you and whatnot. But in the other scope, what about the people that are making you think that what they that what they put in on television is programming? <laughs> and you flip to your other side and another type of program. <laughs> that is why the only basis of humanity is spirituality. That's the only basis. That's why you can grab your thing. Back in the day, that is what people used to rely on. This is why. There's both good and evil when it comes down to spirituality. Just like back in the day when the people of Moses and, and Aaron, they put on their staff and then the pharaohs call the, the Egyptians, the, the, the um, sorcerers and people, them, the wise men they call them, to, to put on their, their thing and it also turn into serpents. So there's good and evil on the spiritual aspect of reality. Which side are you on, brothers and sisters? We even hear about the prime ministers and the people, them, all, they are in all kind of... Anyways, let's continue. Guys. Let's keep ahead. <laughs> We were born to be, we are connected to the nature in a different type of way. We are the only beings who can pull in the full spectrum of sunlight. That's not true. All of reality, plants pull in more sunlight than us, but I guess she's probably talking about something else. To, to an extent, we are the most intelligent people on That's the true. planet. That's true. Well, that is debatable. <laughs> How can man be so intelligent? And you see, guys, from different spectrums that you're looking at it. Man is the most intelligent. Yet still, man is the most intelligent and he's destroying the very thing that they're living on. We may be able to utilize the things that we have, but do we know how to preserve the very thing that we have? Because if we destroy the earth, brothers and sisters, where are we going to live? Mars? We going, and if we Elon Musk can live on Mars? <laughs> that is how it All right, then. 
Because we might be smart, yes, we might be smart, but if you look at different things, different creatures out there, are they able to last and are they able to do things, are they able to cope with reality? When look at all, we say we are the smartest, right? We only know things are coming because we have technology in the place, you know. Animals don't need technology. When things are happening in the atmosphere, atmosphere at them, them birds flying away from disaster, sometimes we go into the disaster. <laughs> we go into the disaster instead, you know. So that's well, look at what what is I guess it's subjective, subjective and relative at the same time. Being more intelligent, I guess it's subjective. Just like the people who have the degrees, but they actually wonder if they really have some degree. Did they pay attention because they have degrees? Because some of the things they say don't make no sense, especially when it comes down to science. They say, look at the science, but you're saying things that is completely contrary to the science, and then you're saying you have your degrees. Guys, just because you have degrees and this kind of thing don't make you smart, you know. So that's why it's, it's subjective. Intelligence is very much subjective, brothers and sisters. Let's continue. Our minds is not healthy. We are not living in a healthy society. We are assimilating as a society. As a society. And I mean, so, yeah, we need to check ourselves. And we check ourselves. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we need to check ourselves. We need to check ourselves. That's true. We need to understand that. And you see a thing where I want to touch on this. Because people really like consumption of food you know you take food in and you, you, know, you get that energy from food but what you what, what more important is the consumption of the type of food your mind your thoughts that is even more important than the food that you're eating because what you take into your mind that's what you know your consciousness well the food is for the body the food also fits the mind but think in itself the mental state of human beings this is why they have several components you know Several components you have, and they based on your face, you have your hearing component that can affect you. What you say can affect you, what you smell can affect you, you know what I mean? What you see can affect you, but they forget about the mind. <laughs> the mind they consider the third eye that bridges the spiritual realm to the physical realm, that of which man used to really focus on back then. But, anyways, we like we, 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 we going somewhere else. <laughs> But we have to understand how, how things operate. The more to eat stuff for our bodies, but you have to also protect the mind. But you allow your children to seek and affect them because their brains are like sponges. But you allow your children to do can also affect them when they get older. This is why when they, they have different court cases and this kind of things there of, of children that grew up um, 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 I mean, certain types of homes, they tend to have leniency on the children based on the type of way that they grow up. Even looking at the rich people, sometimes you wonder, do rich people go to prison? They tend to go to some type of prison, but they don't really go to prison itself. And some, most of them, I will say, most of them, they go somewhere else. But anyways, guys, let's continue. <laughs> that your mind is most powerful in controls everything. Mm -hmm. So what you think in your thoughts and your, 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 your... And the mind is not just for the body, you know, guys. The mind is for your spiritual aspect. That's why I talk about the bridge between the spiritual realm and the physical realm. What controls your action? No, just like a little earlier, there are a little incident down the road, and it's like the same thing I did to the news, and then we need to think before you act because you have to think. You know, just like True. you know, in one When you have to think, you have to have place in your head, miles away, like, you know, how much place, you know, you that you can do, yep. Step after that before you even start to, you know, and learning to adapt as well to, to act. So that's where the mental, you know, the, 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 the consumption of the thoughts, the thoughts. That's why you have to feed it. The great book says, think on good things. Whatsoever things are pure, whatever so, uh, things are of good report, whatsoever things are nice and lovely, brothers and sisters. Think on these things. Because you know people always tend to, and that's one of the reasons why people always tend to be depressed and this kind of things. Because they're thinking of the worst. Pessimistic people, some other people, them people some, of them, <laughs> some of them guys, are, I don't know, what on earth is going on with them? But they tend to think some crazy things. They think of the worst possible situation. Before they, no, that nothing wrong with thinking of the worst possible situation, you know. But then making it run your life to the extent where you refuse to do certain things. I remember growing up, and I used to be kind of shy, talking to people and those kind of things there. I mean, I used to talk to people, but they never really you know I shy. But I used to be, you know, with myself talking to people, but still with myself. You know what I mean? But at least is when I get over that, I'm able to explore all sorts of things. So we pretty much, based on our own thought process, hinder ourselves. Just like people say, oh, they're introvert and extrovert and this kind of thing, as if they cannot change. It is a comfort zone. The human mind is always based off some sort of level of comfort zone. 
We are comfortable in a particular situation, so we stay there. This is where we are most comfortable. But don't realize that we are missing out on a lot of things outside there, guys. Let me tell you, boy. My life is a testimony for that, eh? Ah. <laughs> boy, all you, all you don't know, eh? All you don't know, eh? Yes, sir. Thank the most high for the opportunities and everything that he has. Man, I tell you. I tell you. But guys, the mind is very, very, very important. If you cause yourself to be restricted by your mind, by your thought process, you will hinder yourself from what life truly is about. Anyways. Very important. What you think will be what you, what you become. Become. True. Anyways. And in all areas, you know, so how you choose to live your own life. Well, not necessarily. I always used to think that way. He's, he, he, if you didn't hear that, he's pretty much saying that we are all our leaders. That is not necessarily the case sometimes. And most times, because some people are not in that mind frame of leading, and even though it might be your own life, you might lead yourself in some terrible things. Some terrible things. This is why I always like to listen to the elderly folks, because they themselves, well, not all elderly folks, because some of them elderly folks, they, 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 they are insane. <laughs> they don't think properly but wise ones the wise elderly folks you listen to guys and it's so interesting that everywhere i go on i always used to meet some wise set of individuals i posted a lady on my my whatsapp um, um she touched my heart and thing and i was like yeah i understand everything blah 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 but it's, it's listening to them and listening to the mistakes that they made and certain things and understanding the different decisions that they make and understanding how to go through life who to meet and you know always checking who is your friends and who's not your friends and what your friends act like and what they're not like and and if they are this way then you should be mindful of these individuals who tend to come for you for a particular reason and uh, do your friends elevate your understanding and this kind of things that you always used to take you know take into consideration so when it comes down to leading sometimes you make bad decisions from your own self and the basis that you understand leaders understand the mistakes that they make some people don't understand no mistake that they make it they just keep making the same mistake over and over and over this is why sometimes it's good to have most times if not all the time it's good to have good people around you if you don't have good people around you in utter trouble you in chaos brothers and sisters especially when understanding that there are bright more different types of ideas out there that can actually that can actually help you and if people don't like to listen especially to elderly folks you're in problem you know this is why some of the young people let me wonder if they just think and one of the things i always notice is lacking in schools in this day and age guys there's lack of critical thinking they don't challenge the students to think. They just give them and say, okay, that is how it's supposed to be. And then they're telling them, in America, that is happening right now. Telling them there's no right and wrong. There's no right and that's foolish. Or you can tell a child growing up there's no right and wrong. Or telling them there's no, not necessarily no competition as if the, the, the nature is just going to change itself for you. It is one thing, kind of like the Constitution. The Constitution isn't there to give people rights, you know. The Constitution is there to remind people of their rights. <laughs> it is not there to give people rights it's to remind the people in charge that the people have rights the constitution didn't give people rights it's there to remind people of the rights nature is there to show people what nature is irregardless of if you're trying to change it for your own thinking or your own thought process thinking that woman can be man and man can be and that's the kind of marsh you're doing there nature itself will definitely prove you wrong Biology will definitely prove you wrong. So it doesn't matter where your thought, but anyways, guys, you get the point. Let's continue. Control that they have over the world. And it's their agenda that's being pushed in right True. Now. So seeing that they control the majority of the the sources of information that we have or the way that we even Media. communicate, they can control what we take in. And another thing, I see that the same thing happening in Dominica. The same thing where the prime minister tend to put his people in certain positions so if there's any certain thing you go to this person to try to get help but that's the prime minister's person you get a block you go somewhere else you go to the police reach on top high commissioner or whoever that there that is the prime minister people so that is a block you go to the education that is a block you go to tourism that is a block you go to all kind of different trying to check your mayor for something but it's the prime minister then that put people there on for the people if it's not against it's not in the agenda you get a block there that is something happening outside there. So what I what they tend to do, especially when it comes down to WHO, 
big pharma decide hey let us enter into who let us enter into fda let us own shares let us own get patents for different injections and those kind of things there and let us own the media and when they do these things they push their agenda of course they have a lot of money they pay their people to push certain agendas and you know people like money not true one of the ways you can control people is via what money this is a mind thing again you control the people via money because you know people want money that's the same how this the love of money the bible says the root of all evil but people don't listen to the bible so they still go in and love money they want their money so they're selling themselves they will literally go and sell themselves to get a 50 or 100 dollars they will sell their vote to get a little money not realizing they're putting their own self in a detriment that they cannot see because they're blind <laughs> Yo! So, whereas you may probably feel like people just that way, it may not be that way. They are being encouraged to be a certain way. It's called they got the positive reinforcements. Positive reinforcements. You know, kind of like when you're working and you feel like dumb and whatnot, and you say, "But at the end of the year, I'm going to get a, a um, a, what do you call that again? A bonus. I'm going to get a bonus. So you get your bonus. You're happy." So the thought process of you being angry at your workplace because you know you don't feel like you get any more, but the bonus is going to give you a little a little incentive to push a little more. Or if they know that you can you you push a little more, especially when it comes down to commissions and this kind of things there, you push a little more, go over all over the place, you sell different things, sell insurance, what have you. You push more constantly. So you get a commission that is an incentive, positive reinforcement. If you don't do well, negative reinforcement. Which reinforces you doing positive, re positive things in the company to do positive results, and you get positive reinforcements. So you realize that is a limitation of humankind. I give you only too much, boy. Yeah, let's continue. <laughs> yep, they're puppets. Kind of like why? Why is scary telling mandates is going away? Why is scary trying to tell people is only certain people that can go festival? Why is he doing this? Maybe he got certain numbers. Somebody said maybe he got some monies from the people there, which of course is not too far fetched because they found out a school in America was given how much millions of dollars for them to push things in children. I wonder if I should say that word. You know, YouTube funny already. <laughs> to push things in people, people, little people. <laughs> but so it's not far fetched to believe that and we also know that they give caribbean 400 million dollars for them to push this thing into the caribbean 400 or 200 million maybe they get 400 and then they give another additional 200 million dollars to push things well okay we can see that let's, let's move on but it, that is part of it eh? to see we are, we are a god fearing country as we yeah. say it was very disappointing to see how Dominicans could quickly turn on each other mm -hmm. just because they had a different opinion from them yeah. I, and, it's, and I tell you she right there she very right there she very right there people looking at the research and people want to make people feel like they don't know what they're saying even though what they say not making no sense <laughs> <laughs> they what they say no making this guys one of the things with me i like to challenge people on what they say eh? i like to challenge people on what they say this is why sometimes i get vexed when i listen to the radio especially when certain questions are asked and the person who's supposed to know better not answer any questions she asks anything other she answered in another different way this is why i just make bad vexed with people especially when you're trying to push something that doesn't make sense because i've been trying hey guys make it make sense for me and then when they're trying their best to make sense, it don't make it no sense. They need very, the very people that were pushing it in, changing their mind on what they were saying before. Remember when they told you get two shots and that's it? Remember when they tell you get one shot from the JJ, that's it? Now they're talking about two, three, four boost, boosters? I can't say that word. Anyways, let's continue. I think that's what they're doing in France. France want to give up Guadeloupe and Martinique. The people of Guadeloupe and Martinique have been saying they want to be free from France, and France checking no. They even say Fra um, Guadeloupe and Fra um, Guadeloupe and Martinique is more expensive than France itself, where certain things might cost cents in France, costing like a dollar fifty. In, in Martinique and Guadeloupe, if you fly over those people airspace in over Guadeloupe and Martinique, 
France have to get their money from that. So France is constantly pimping this boy. Anyways. Being offered to him <laughs> in, in exchange for help to overthrow the Confederacy or to, to, to exterminate the you know the illusion of freedom the, the illusion of freedom yes, yes. but that's why i always tell people guys i think i'll stick on this one the illusion of freedom i like that freedom let me get make all you understand something we live in a life where we go to school and then we we we, we learn we learn what they want us to learn and then we go out in the job market to try to get a job we take loans sometimes for us to go to a higher educational school so we can then get a job to then pay back these loans then you constantly take your entire life to pay back loan when you reach 60 or whatever you finally free up from loans if your children if the loan is not that big but it passed on to your children and your children have to end up paying it but on the basis where you get to a certain age and then that's life for you and you feel you are free. People don't understand what freedom is, you know. That's why I always tell people the only freedom we have, true freedom we have, is in the spiritual realm. As the only freedom that man have, one man free in the spiritual realm, that is where they get physically free. Because though we may not physically be chained, we still work in the same system where people can tell you, okay, just like when people will get fired and they feel like dung and they feel like they, can, they need to take their life and this kind of things there. Eh? That is another form of slavery. Just like I gave the reference on, on my WhatsApp one time. I telling them, what if I put you in a forest? Right? I put you in a forest. The entire world is out there and I block the forest out and I tell you and I keep feeding you. I tell you everything is bad outside there. There's war and everything bad inside there. You will grow up. Ah, I remember the monkey incident. I'll give all you the monkey incident in <laughs> the monkey um, experiment. You will grow up thinking that this is the safest place for us and that is where we get to roam out and do things. So you build your little, your, 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 your economies there. You build your, politi your policies there. You build your sense of governance inside this area. Completely ruling out outside. And you feel free based of what you allow yourself to think, based of what people have told you, especially... If you're constantly growing in an environment without understanding what exactly is outside there, you just know outside there is dangerous. Not to go outside there, it's dangerous. So you're feeling free within your forest, but forget that is the entire world outside there. That is how the system is. I remember the same incident involving a monkey. The monkey they used to give monkeys bananas on top of a ladder. Monkeys on top of the ladder, put the bananas, the monkeys used to run up, eat the bananas, they're nice. Woo! -hoo! They're great. All of a sudden, they used to put monkeys on top of the ladder. They used to climb, and when they climb the ladder, they used to wet the monkeys. The monkeys used to run down all the time, putting the bananas on top. Monkeys running down. Then after a while, they started exchanging the monkeys out there. And then they would when when somebody go up for the when one monkey go up, they waiting all the monkeys. Eh? They waiting all the monkeys. So they will start exchanging monkeys, putting them out, and putting new monkeys in. So sometimes monkeys, the new monkeys would go up for the thing, but the monkeys then will beat up the monkey before it go for the banana. So the new monkey thinking, but why are you beating me up? Thinking that is a normal process. So new monkeys would come in and all the original monkeys in eventually ended up moving out. Right? They took out all the original monkeys. And there were only new, the new set of monkeys that were there. When they put in newer monkeys, the monkeys who go up, the new monkeys will beat that monkey from going to get the banana. Because that is what they are accustomed to. Remember, the new monkeys, they never wet the new monkeys, you know. They never wet them at all. But the new monkeys are so conditioned to beat people that would go for the, 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 um, the bananas. To beat the, the other monkeys that would go for the bananas. So it's a constant cognition. That is what is happening with the world. If you don't understand this, you'll be in problem. So hopefully you get this story. Hopefully I can get that video. If you guys want that video, I'll post it in the description below. Remind me as well. I posted it before on, on, on um, previous um, interactions and whatnot. Guys, let me know your thoughts in this regard. This is pretty much all I was for this reaction, guys. I'll post this um, video link as well in the description as well. So you guys can check it out for you guys to see the whole thing. I just decided to do a little snippet here and there on this thing. So you guys can get this full video on whatever they are saying right there. So you can check it out and give your thoughts on it as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box below, guys. I'll see you guys in the next section video. By the way, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate that right there. See you guys in the next. Reaction video. <laughs>